God gave me this platform. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. I already know I'm going to win. China did our vote. No, they're not lumpy pillows. Biden and Harris would say, hey, we're here to protect the country and resign. Mike Lindell's a conspiracy. But you haven't. Just forget about the evidence. You're an asshole. This was attacked. Asshole. Mike Pillow CEO Mike Lindell is begging for donations after having to admit that his so-called evidence didn't exactly uh, shock the world. We need your help. Uh, all this, all the, any funds coming in, the offense fund, I've been, I'm always on the offense. I've had this fund for quite a while now. It funds the election crime bureau, the cause of America, everything I'm doing out there, everything we're doing that I have paid for, I now need your help. We need the Supreme Court case advertised. We need to get it out there. I'm going to take funds. 100% of the money coming in is going to go to help save our country. 100% of the money is going to help save our country. That's why we need your help, because I'm broke. Please. Please, I'm so broke. Help me. Help me. <laughs> I then love how he says, I'm always on the offense. No, no, just because people are offended by your nonsense does not mean that you're on the offense, okay? But, okay, well, look, here's the thing. So, uh, obviously, he's begging for money. What does he need the money for? We're going to uh, an emergency injunction to expedite uh, this case. What, what's going to come out now will be all the declarations and all the evidence to back up the, the case. So, this is the second part of it. This was very, very much planned by uh, our lawyers, and uh, um, it's... Uh, and because the, the media right now is out there, the, it hasn't really reached the masses of the media, but the ones that are out there trying to discredit, well, there's nothing behind this. Uh, it's coming. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. The, all the declarations. All of them. Every single one of them. Really. Okay. <laughs> Look, obviously, we talked about this before ad nauseum. The guy has absolutely nothing. Uh, nothing that makes any sort of sense that actually proves any of the things that he's been saying about the voting machines, <laughs> okay? Even, look, even Steve Bannon, who I, I don't know why Steve continues to humor him by having him on the show. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's good ratings. Maybe he helps, you know, fun war room. I don't know. I don't know the reason. Or maybe it's just somebody for Steve Bannon to laugh at. I don't know. <laughs> Nonetheless, Bannon is going to ask him, hey, bro, you, you do know this is a long shot, right? But how, how do you know, when you file this week, how do you know it's going to get picked up by the Supreme Court? It's still a long shot, right? Steve, it, it is a long shot, but here's the thing. We need to get the word out because the, the stuff that's going to drop, the decryption, the decryption keys that are inside the machines for the whole world to see. We need, this needs to be, the whole world needs to see this. I'm going to spend all this, a lot of money on getting the word out that the case is there. We need also, we need the war room posse. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, let's just drop, drop proprietary information from a company that is already suing us. That's a great idea. Uh, of course, you know, that would be an incredibly dumb thing to do if he even had that information. And for that, I, I'm a little dubious. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't believe him. <laughs> I don't believe anything. But he keeps talking about these things and he never delivers. Uh, like, he might think that, he, oh, I've got the decryption keys. Do you? <laughs> Where did you get them? I would be very, you know, uh, I, I would love to know where you got this alleged information, these uh, these keys, that again, would be, wouldn't that be pr pr uh, proprietary information belonging to the company? So what are you, uh, you're, you're, you're basically taking the stuff that you, you know, should not have access to and you're showing the whole world. Are you sure you want to do that? That, there's a whole lot of things that he's doing that don't seem to be very smart, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, finally, of course, uh, Lindell's plan, his real plan is revealed. Uh, he says that he planned to use the Supreme Court case to defend himself against the aforementioned defamation suit against him, saying the new evidence is going to be used far and wide, especially in my case. Is it, though? I very much doubt it, okay? Press X to doubt, all right? I'm not the only one. In remarks to the Arizona Republic, Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer, and by the way, this, this case, it, it does, doesn't involve him like specifically, right? But it involves a Carrie Lake case. Carrie Lake, of course, 
not exactly friendly with Mr. Stephen Richer, whom she blames for allegedly rigging the vote against her. And that is why she is uh, the temporarily embarrassed governor of Arizona. So anyway, he weighed in uh, and he said, quote, same old crazy. Zero percent chance the United States Supreme Court decides to spend its very limited time on something so crazy that it got sanctioned to the tune of $100,000 plus at the trial court level. And there it is. <laughs> I mean, again, Richard, Stephen Richard is a Republican, right? So he's a right winger. We don't agree on a lot of things. Uh, but even he can see that the sky is blue, right? Whereas Lindell is like, I don't know. It's like acid trip colors, whatever colors. It's, it's like a rainbow. Is it? No, not really. Not really. Although, to be fair, if Mike Lindell saw a rainbow, he would probably spontaneously combust. Not in favor of rainbows, what I hear. <laughs> but anyway, look, at the end of the day, Lumpy can spend all day and millions of dollars on ads because that's what he's planning on doing. This is his entire plan is to beg for money so he can make ads that he can, what, buy on TV begging the Supreme Court to take up the, the case. That's really it. That's, that's the entire plan here, okay? Wait, <laughs> that's not going to make a difference if they don't want to take it. I'm pretty sure that even this Supreme Court with Clarence Thomas who is a major problem. And if any case like this involving the election even comes up to the court, he should be you know, forced to recuse himself because of Jenny Thomas uh, and her you know, actions with the insurrection and all that. Um, even that Supreme Court, very unlikely to take up this insanity of a case. Okay, so sorry, uh, Mike. It doesn't matter how much money you raise from the from the war room posse. Ain't gonna help you. 